Hi, it's our letter from home. So glad to see you. Hey, this coming Sunday, it'll be my last sermon as our pastor. It's going to be in Luke chapter 1, verses 26 through 38. It's a favorite passage of mine, and I'm looking forward to talking to you about Mary and the Annunciation, the visit of the angel Gabriel, and the announcement of God to Mary. So I hope you'll be with us this coming Sunday. It's going to be a great day together. I'm really looking forward to it. I want you to wait and watch through the uh, letter from home so that you can hear from Tim. We've got some news about the ministry center, which is really important. So God bless you. We love you. Mwah. Hi, ladies. I hope you've had a wonderful week. I wanted to remind you that the women's dinner is just around the corner, Friday, December 8. It is full. If you have not gotten a ticket and would like to, you are welcome to call me or email me and get your name on that waiting list because there are always things that change last minute for people. So I really want to try to accommodate you if I'm able to. Also, if you have not paid for your ticket yet, there is a link that was sent to do that. So I would ask that you would do that before the event. If you have any questions or any trouble with that, make sure you give me a ring or email me and I will try to work out all those details with you. And just a reminder too, Bible study is on break until January. We have had such a wonderful, wonderful time of studying Revelation, and we will pick that up again in January. So if you missed the first session, you're welcome to join in when we start again in January. Hope you're great. Can't wait to see you Sunday. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. Hey, Merry Christmas. Hope you are ready for this Christmas season. I'm excited. Thanksgiving's gone. Christmas is here. It's going to be fun together. Hey, guys, um, during the season, we're going to be uh, meeting at Cafe 210. Ironworks still. We're not going to miss because of the season. So I want to encourage you to be there. It's going to be a great time together, especially if you're there. And for those our young adults who are in satellite um, ministry, who are away at school, I want you to encourage, or even here locally at school, their semester's coming to an end. Pray for them. Pray that they finish strong. Pray that they make good connections and are just a real force for Jesus on their campus, you know, just loving people well and sharing Christ with them. That'll, that'll, that'll be a big gift for them at Christmas time this year. Hey, love you. I'll see you on Sunday. Hey, everyone. I hope you're having a great week so far. Um, just, to, just to remind you, we have Koinonia Foster Kids. We're blessing uh, 63 kids this year with Christmas gifts, and we have three names left. So if you would like to sign up, you can email me um, to pick a name out. We have three boys left that we'd love to provide Christmas gifts for, so we're super excited. Um, and just a reminder that all the gifts are due by December 10th, and you can bring them here to the church office during office hours, or you can um, bring them on Sunday morning and give them to me at the children's check-in. And we would love to have you guys be praying for those kids um, and just the opportunity that we can be blessing them. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next week. Hey, for junior high, what's coming up next year, it's winter camp almost already. And so we've had registration, and if you have a junior high student, that hasn't signed up, that's wanting to come to camp, uh, have them sign up. Uh, if they can't get in, we'll have a wait list and we'll call up to Hume and we'll try our best to get spots for every student that signs up because you're not going to want to miss out on Hume Lake Winter Camp 2024. It's an amazing camp, uh, a lot of fun. We do this box sled blitz where you literally construct out of cardboard a, a sled and you rush down this massive hill with this big jump. It's super fun. Uh, kids have a blast, and you learn about God in one of the best camps in all of the U.S., which is Hume Lake Christian Camp. So I hope your students, if you're junior high age, you're not going to want to miss out. Good morning, church. Hey, a couple of things coming up to be aware of for high school students. Uh, in a couple of weeks on Sunday, December 10th, we are having our December Fellowship, and we're going to be at Adventure Park. It'll be from 5 to 8 p.m. It's only $10 for you students, and that's going to get you a pizza buffet and unlimited miniature golf, laser tag, and go-karts, uh, and a $10 uh, pass to the arcade. So it's a really, it'll be a really fun and uh, affordable fellowship for you. Uh, invite your friends, high schoolers. Uh, it's a, just a great opportunity to reach out to, to your unchurched friends and uh, just 
bring them in and, and let them ex get a little bit of experience of, of what it uh, looks like to be a part of the church. Um, a few other things going on uh, is that next month, or in two months actually, in, in uh, January, at the end of January, on the 26th, we have another uh, opportunity to serve with Galenians for the Hungry. So again, it's Friday, January 26th. Um, as of right now, they only have uh, a limited amount of work available, and so they currently only said that they need 20 spots, 20 workers uh, for that day. Uh, so this Sunday, you can sign up by clicking on the QR code in the bulletin, um, but then after that, we'll start a wait list, and if they have other jobs that they need, we can add more, bring more people um, to that. But if you didn't miss out last time that we were at Glean's for the Hungry or you want to experience it again, uh, I encourage you to, to sign up for that. It was a really great day of serving with them. Uh, and then the last thing I just want to keep reminding you of is that every Tuesday uh, from 1230 to 1, we have a Zoom uh, prayer meeting, and it's just a sweet time to pray for all the things that are going on, uh, things with our church and ministry and in our world and in our own personal lives. Um, so if you're available uh, every Tuesday from 1230 to 1, uh, Zoom in with us and uh, pray, and, and we bring our, bring our requests to the Lord. Thank you, church. God bless you. Love you. Hi, Grace Community Church. I hope you're having a great Thursday. You've wrapped up all your Thanksgiving and you are ready to dive into the Christmas season with us. We're excited. Now, we will be at Divisadero for a few more Sundays. We're praying and hoping that we will be there uh, in our new ministry center for Christmas Eve. So pray with us that that comes to fruition. And if not, then we will make a backup plan. So we're excited to celebrate Christmas with you wherever we are. Uh, we will make it feel as Christmassy as possible and we'll celebrate the coming of our Lord. So this Sunday, if you open your bulletin, there's still lots of opportunities to volunteer for many different ministries. We have lots of different things moving into the new ministry center that have people signing up. We also have concurrent ministries that are just ongoing. Um, youth and student ministries are always looking for volunteers for different things. Our tech crew needs more volunteers. So if you're interested in learning something new and fun, you don't need any experience, just scan those QR codes and get signed up. We have people willing to train you in any way. And we're excited to have you on the team. So we'll see you on Sunday. Have a great rest of your week. Hey, good Thursday morning. Uh, let me, as Pastor John said at the beginning of the letter from home, give you an update on the ministry center. Um, as you know, if you have been watching these letters from home, it was our hope that we would have our certificate of occupancy um, a few days ago, actually Monday of this week. That didn't happen because we've had a a couple of hiccups. One of the main ones has to do with the gas flow to our ministry center and until we get that squared away, it was outside of our control actually, but um, until that's squared away, the big thing is we, we have to have the, um, the fire inspection and we can't get that until this gets squared away. So it's a holdup and we're working hard on it. Um, so please be praying. Um, that this will be cared for and um, I would encourage you we heard a, it really spoke to me a message last week by Pastor Stephen and he talked about um, how we should be um, thankful for the no's in our lives that come from God it, he talked about you know trusting the Lord and his will in these things and so as we get what this seems to be a bit of a setback we are going to praise the Lord and we are going to pray for his will and would ask you to pray that this will be cared for. We hope to be in the ministry center soon. God bless you. Have a great day.